Hey, so cool gang. Hey, hey, hey. Here's a story of a lovely lady who was raising three kids all on her own. All of them had super swag, like their mother, the youngest one, hair curls. Here's a story of a man named Brady who had perfect teeth the same color as snow. And his baby girl, Kamari, his only child, she was all alone. Until one day when royalty met Cordero, and they both knew it was realer than the front. They decided to connect and make a family and have a lot of fun. That's how cool game. What's happening, we're back at Cool Kids. It's your butt. See, this is cool, and I'm back again with another video. And today, guys, I know the last video was Rhino's birthday party, and I promised to get him a bath, but instead I did it the right way, which is got him dirty first, fed him, did all that cool stuff, let him come home, and continue playing in the backyard. And today, guys, we're gonna actually get him a bath. Lego! So, this is Rhino. Yesterday was his third birthday. Oh, so birthday. Today. He hasn't had a bath in over a year. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Okay, he's scaring people. <laughs> it's okay right now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Fuck this shit, I'm out. He's trying to act like he's a guard dog. Now he come touch him. Good boy. Just give him a good scratch. He's scared when other people don't touch him. Say hey, Reno. See, Reno, he's good. Say hey, Reno. Good boy. Hey, it's a little dirty right now. Come on, right now. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Wow. Good boy. All the hair in there. You see? He's an exotic bully. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh no. You don't like the water. You don't like the water. Okay. Okay. Hold on. No. Right now, play. No. Right now, play. No. Place. Place. Lie down! Lie down, John C! He's deaf. I'm not deaf. I just can't stand listening to her. You're sneaky. Rhino. You're sneaky. Rhino jumped off the bath, guys, and I missed you. He had me. He had me relaxed, thinking that he was doing good. Rhino, good boy. <laughs> good boy. 12 seconds later. All right, buddy. You can just wait there for a second. Okay. Uh, man, we're towel. We're going to towel dry. we towel dry. Oh, no. I'm going to raise it. Oh, no. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Uh. No more jumping away from me again. <laughs> Dude, right now look at you looking like a prize dog, man. Is he salty? He definitely looks salty. He jumped off the toilet. I think you can watch Bruno. <laughs> Do you think you can handle my security dog, Bruno? Nope. What's that? Do you think you can handle my security dog, Bruno? Possibly. Okay. I, I can check it out. I really want them both to be clean because I play with them a lot. If you don't mind me checking out their cars here in a minute. Oh, yeah, but you can't drive them. No, no, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I won't even touch him. I just want to look at him. <laughs> Good boy, Rhino. Good boy. Wow, look at this dog right here. That boy is drunk. <laughs> no quiero taco bell. Oh, that's him. <laughs> he got a lot older. We got Bruno out here. Bruno next up, man. You think he's going to be able to handle Bruno? Nope. He already said it. Oh, man. Good boy! I got Bruno in the halo. Uh, uh. He has the water. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's why you better run. Uh, uh. Hey, how y'all? <laughs> Get your fucking dog, bitch! It don't bite. Uh. Gonna get that bath. Get them fleas. <laughs> hey, the kids is back with Grandma. Grandma took him out to breakfast this morning and even took him to the arcade. I, I got um, I got a 100. What? Even, even a 455. What did you guys eat? Yeah. You gonna get Bruno done too? We gonna try. Is Rhino done? Rhino! Well, I'm gonna go in there. How did he do? He did 
good. He did, he did good. good. Real good. Hey, Reynolds. Yeah. Really, Nation, you wearing grandma's heels? You took off all your stuff just to put on some heels? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Five hours later. I cannot believe how clean Rhino is. I've been rubbing him all day and my hands don't stink. It's crazy. I don't even have to wash my hands. Look, what the heck you doing? You got a black marker? Rhino. Why are you so jealous? What are you talking about? What are you doing? What do you got over here, man? Why are you, whoa, whoa, what the? What the? The plug just dropped off the shoes, man, to new Jordans, but not for me and royalty. Only for the kids, guys. We got Kamari, Leon, Carnation, and Julia, the new Jordans. But I, I didn't, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't think these was tight. I thought these was just some regular old schmegglers. And I don't want regular old schmegglers because my closet is too full and I don't got room for no more regular schmeggler. That being said, the kids can wear these every day. I'm not a guy that can wear the same shoes every day, so. That's the only reason I'll be getting these, and I already got some Yeezys. I could wear those to PE. You could definitely wear these to PE, and I won't care. But you can't wear these outside in the backyard, and you can't leave them back there, okay? I wouldn't wear them back there. Do you think these are cool? Mm -hmm. Flame or Fuego? Fuego. My man. Right on. Go get it. Look at him, man. Hey. And of course, Bruno already stole one and went upstairs. Either way, I just had to show you guys this, man. Because at the park, I don't think Rhino likes to play because it's too open. But in a familiar territory like his house, he down for whatever. Let me see. Nope. Give me that. Give me that. It's funny to play with Rhino because he's not trying to bite your hand off like Bruno. Bruno. Get it, Rhino. Oh. Good boy. I Bruh, I got to teach you how to play fetch. You know there's rules to this game, bro. Come on, let it go. Ow. Right on. Go get it. D. <laughs> Bring it back, man. Nope. Seriously, Wolfpack and Cool Kids, we still here saying video, and I just got something in the mail real quick, and I kinda know who it's from, so let's open it up real quick. Got my girl Nation down here with the box cutting. Nation, don't cut off one of your little hairs now. Come on, watch your little thumb. Let me see. You got a lot more to go, Nation. You gotta do this whole section. Where Leon at? Need some help. Nation ain't never did it before. She cut the box with her. There we go. Good job. Open it up, open it up, Carnation. Let me see what's in there. Look like a couple of shirts. Uh oh. Wait, wait. Don't put it on the floor. Be smart. Put it on the box. Okay. Put it. I'll hold oh. this one. Let me see, man. Wow. Holy snaps. Man, that is crazy. This is the guy that sold us Rhino. He has merch now, and his merch is raw. And we got that shirt that he's wearing on the merch. That's crazy. That's so cute. Yes, sir. My guy Vic right here, man. His Instagram, I am actually following him on Instagram. So all the shirts look the same. He should have put my face on there, man. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. I totally forgot that I have boxes in here, guys. Well, since we just opened up that box of t-shirts, it's only right that I open up these two boxes. Now, most of you probably forgot what I bought in this one, but if you did, it was in the other vlog that I literally just posted. But these shoes right here are gonna go down in history as one of my top three Christian Louboutins because they are just so fuego and different. Never seen nobody with them. Already right now, just with a little bit out of the bag, guys, and you already see that this shoe is outrageous. Look at that, man. Oh, bruh, these shoes were a had to get. Now, obviously, I don't think I got nothing to match these, but it doesn't matter because you don't have to match when you're wearing something like this, guys. You could just put on all black, all white, or maybe even something gold. You can put on anything, literally, and no one's going to be hating on you. If they do, just kick them with one of these spikes, and I guarantee you to change their mind. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Hopefully, I can surprise you guys, and hopefully, we don't take an L when I open this box right here. Because after you open something like that, you can't downgrade, all right, guys? So hopefully, this is an upgrade, which I believe is going to be super hard to do. But all that being said, we about to find out right now what's under the Nike logo. Three, two, one. Ugh. Still can't decide what's under there, but it looks like 
a Chicago brand one, kind of like I can tell it's a retro one, but oh boy, these are them Spider-Man joints from the movie. Definitely are the Spider-Man shoes from the cartoon movie that just came out, Spidey into the universe or something like that. That's crazy. These little dots that you see, you can't feel them, but they're definitely there. That's crazy. It's kind of like got that Spider-Man outfit texture to it. It's crazy, man. Look at the leather. Everything on this shoe is crazy, man. I don't think I'm aware because it got the gum bottom. And for those of you that don't know what gum bottom does is it turns yellow after about three times wearing it on the concrete. Even if there's no snow outside, it doesn't matter. The way these shoes get dirty is they start to turn yellow. And I'd much rather keep it like this because this is already fuego. D! I just now noticed that they actually have the retro Spider-Man colorway. They got the blue and the red right there with the white. That's crazy, man. Anything on the insole, hopefully they got a Spider-Man in there. If not, it's cool, though. It's blue. Ah, oh, they didn't do nothing to the inside. But it is blue. It's tight, though, still, nevertheless. But rate these shoes, guys, from 0 to 10. And after you get through doing that in the comment section, which shoe is better? The Christian Lubin Red Bottoms or these Spider-Man retro ones? Which one? That's not lit, that's fuego. That's not cash on pesos. Diamonds shine like rainbows. You, you ain't gang, you lame-o. Pull up in a limo, tint the window. You not the bros, you the ops. You, you, you be talking to the cops. Set him up with the thoughts. Gang, gang off top. Try to hit him with the sneak. I'ma run him over with the Jeep. I got a trick for your treat. I want the Bentley. Guys, I've never, ever, ever been more sad than I am right now. And I've never been more mad than I am right now. Bruno is my favorite dog, but guys, he pushed his limits today, man. Check out what he did to my Yeezys. <laughs> These are the Pirates. These are some OG shoes right here. I believe I paid 1700 for these shoes, man. And I've been rocking them ever since. I probably had these shoes for over a year and nothing has ever happened to them. And it, it's like I've been wearing these shoes over 200 times and nothing happened to these shoes. I've literally been seeing bending these shoes on videos. I've explained before how much I love these shoes, how comfortable they are. And now I can never wear them again because mines are busted thanks to you. Bruno, I can't believe you did this, man. While I was in there editing my video, I heard some noise. Sound like somebody was chewing on a tennis ball. But I realized it wasn't no tennis balls. Bruno was in here chewing on my shoe because he heard the tennis ball sounds on my video I was editing. It's crazy like that, man. Now, in my house, guys, rules are rules, and no bad deed goes unpunished. I need to know in the comment section right now, what would you do to your dog, okay? If he annihilated your favorite shoes, not just any pair of shoes, we talking your favorite pair of shoes. Now, if this was the Air Max, I'm sorry, but RIP Bruno, somebody would've had to come get you, bro. Yeah. But these are my Yeezys right here. Now, I really love Jordans, and like I said, I love my Air Max, but these are the most comfortable shoes. So this is more of a different type of love. I had love for these shoes as I want to wear those shoes, not I want to save those shoes for eternity. So it's a big difference, guys. But I do need to know, what would you do to your dog if he did something like this to you? <laughs> guys, I also want to know, what would you do to the shoes? Would you burn them? Trash them or keep them? Or should I just let this demon dog finish eating them off? I'm so fucking tired of this shit. Fuck this shit. You know what, Bruno? You actually just motivated me to give these Yeezys away to a homeless man. What? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give these away to somebody homeless. Cause I got all these socks right here, guys. I'm talking about, I don't even know how many socks it is. It's over a hundred socks. And I got these shoes now. They obviously are still rockable. But when it comes to me, I can't be rocking nothing like this because that's just not my style. But I'm pretty sure any homeless man would love anything free. It doesn't even matter if it was Yeezy or Payless. But these just so happen to be $1,700 shoes, Bruno. Why, man? Why? I loved you, man. I still love you. Either way, guys, the comment section is open right now down below. Do not forget to like this video. Subscribe for more content. Of course, I'm not going to abuse my dog. I love Bruno so much, guys. Like I said, he is my favorite dog. Come here, Bruno. He knows he's in trouble. That's the best part about him, too. I don't like one of those dogs that's just like, oh, man, I just ate your shoe and so what? You ain't going to do nothing about it. I want a dog that's going to fear me because that's how it should be. He is my pet. I'm not his pet. And my shoes aren't your toy. You know that from now on, okay, Bruno? Okay. Uh. What the? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh man, it's all right, Bruno. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say peace for me one time. Peace. I, I do what I want and you can't tell me what to do. Twin turbo go zoom, snake right out the zoo. Break you like a spoon. Hickory dickory dock. I put diamonds on my watch. Been getting money, I can't stop. Diamonds is dripping. You might need a mop. That's what it said it. Cause I island hop. She said, where your roof at? I said, this a drop top. I said, where your man?